Finally, I get to wrap my fingers around your puny orange neck. If you're brand new to the Crash Bandicoot series, starting with the Insane Trilogy, you're probably familiar with the characters confirmed in Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. Characters from CTR are featured in the original trilogy, after all, and you know Oxide is an original character for Crash Team Racing. But we've gotten a few more confirmed since then. Characters like Zim, Zam, and Velo, all whom you've likely put together are from the Nitro Kart side of the remaster. But there's one more character that you can't quite wrap your head around. Crunch Bandicoot. He can't just be for some spin-off racing game, can he? I mean, he's another Bandicoot, he's gotta be a big deal. The Sonic series just doesn't drop more hedgehogs out of nowhere, they're always important when they get introduced. So if you're really that curious, I guess I'll tell you what the big deal is with Crunch and who he is. Emperor Velo was a robot? They just don't make him like they used to. Crunch Bandicoot first appeared in Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex, the first main series Crash game not developed by Naughty Dog. It was also the first game in the series on the PlayStation 2, so despite its many, many flaws, those who had the PS2 as their first console have some great nostalgia for it. And whether you like the game or not, you have to admit it had a pretty unique story, not just for Crash, but for platformers in general. Most of the time, platformers will use the very simple plot of the villain trying to take over the world, and then getting stopped by the heroes for the entire series. However, in the Wrath of Cortex, our band of villains become self-aware and realize they can't move on with their goal with Crash Bandicoot in the way, so they put taking over the world on hold, specifically to focus on killing Crash. To do this, Dr. Cortex figured he'd fight fire with fire, and utilized the power of a new group of masks called the Elementals, as well as the Power Crystals, to bring to life a new creation. A new Bandicoot super weapon, what he had originally envisioned Crash to be when he created him several years ago. This is the creature who keeps sabotaging your master plan? Ha! <laughs> you gotta be kidding! I'll exterminate this field rat in no time! Now, Crunch, your time with Crash will come soon enough. Isn't he brilliant? Crunch Bandicoot had the spotlight for all five boss battles in the game, the first four using the powers of each elemental, while the fifth used them all as well as Dr. Cortex. It was thanks to the power of these elementals that Cortex was able to keep control over Crunch. Without them, Crunch would have gone on a reckless rampage. And he almost did once Crash defeated him. But of course, once he realized the space station they were on was exploding, Crunch decided to put his differences aside and join Crash. Crash, Coco, Aku Aku, I'm grateful to all of you. If it weren't for you, I'd still be under the control of Dr. Cortex. Thank you for believing in me, guys. Crunch was a very fantastic character, and he had extremely high potential to keep being fantastic. However, that potential was sadly never reached, as there weren't that many main series titles that could use him. I mean, Twin Sanity was all they really had before he got flanderized into a Mr. T parody for the Titans games. Even in Twin Sanity, all he did get was a cameo. A cute cameo featuring him showing up to a party for Crash that he thought was real, but was actually a fake plan set up by Cortex, but still a cameo. Hopefully, after Crash Team Racing Nitro Field releases, we can get a new main series Crash game that uses Crunch properly. Or even better, retells his story. Without remaking the Wrath of Cortex, of course. That does sound good! Butter! Uh, and where'd I get this? Short-term memory loss! Confused! And where'd I get this? Now, of course, there is the paranoia and concern that Crunch will retain his Mr. T parody personality from the Titans games. This is also probably why, when it comes to Crash Bandicoot, some people want more remakes instead of a brand new game, because they fear Activision will go back to the Titans stuff for a new game. However you see Activision, though, they are a business and they're after the money. Titans did not get the money. This current version of the Crash Bandicoot universe is what's getting the money, and a lot of it, so they'll be sticking with it for a while. And as for Crunch, when it comes to his appearance, they brought back his old design. And as for voice acting, his old VA, Kevin Michael Richardson, is still very active to this day, and would likely jump at the chance to reprise this role. But there you have it, Crunch Bandicoot. A fantastic character with loads of potential that was never reached, but hopefully will be soon. You know, you did good out there. You got a real shot at winning this thing. Cause you work together. Both of you make a good team too. Also, Beanox, if you're listening to this video, please put Pasadena Opossum from Crash Tag Team Racing in Nitro Field. You don't have to remake any of the Crash Tag Team Racing tracks or anything, just put Pasadena in there. Okay, thanks, bye.